Hey guys, so I haven't really said anything about the Las Vegas shootings yet because I feel that we don't have enough information to piece everything together yet. Uh, however, I am confident that in the days and weeks to come, more information will obviously emerge and provide us with a better picture of what exactly happened that night. Now, there is one thing that I wanted to mention specifically that I feel sort of goes completely against the entire mainstream narrative that we're being told thus far and this is particularly in regards to the shooter and the location of the shooter this night. Now officially we're being told by the mainstream news outlets that the shooter Stephen Paddock of course was located on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel and that essentially he was shooting down at uh, uh, the crowds of people located at this country concert with a fully automatic weapon. So this is the official narrative that we're being told right now. However, I did see a video yesterday that really sparked my interest. Now, this was essentially a video uh, shot from very far away, obviously at night, uh, which seems to show gunshots coming in from a very, very low floor in the building. Once again, we were told that he was shooting from the 32nd floor, but in this video, we appear to see uh, shots being fired from a very, very low floor in this hotel. Now, I dismissed this video originally uh, because the video and the audio were quite poor and it was very hard to extract any kind of information from it. So, check it out. This is the original video. Right there, baby. That's the Fourth gunfire. floor, not the 32nd. Right One there. more time. And notice the sound is off with the light because he's filming from a throw distance. distance. And as you see in that video, we can hear the gunshots and we can also see the gunfire sparking as well. Now what's even more interesting is that the second video has emerged today, once again showing what appear to be gunshots being fired from the fourth or fifth uh, floor of this hotel. So, in the second video that I'm about to show you right now, which is being massively taken off of YouTube as we speak, we once again see and hear the gunshots coming in from a very low floor. Now, uh, this appears to have been taken by a cab driver who was in the area, and it also appears to be in the same general area as the footage uh, of the first shooting that we just saw there. So, check this out. It seems like it's coming from up there. Oh shit, I... Alright, I'm out of here. So once again, the shots are coming in from a very, very low floor and not from high above, as we're being told by the mainstream media, and it appears to be in the same general uh, area of this hotel. Now, whether or not this was done by one shooter who was, you know, moving through this area of the hotel and shooting from various locations, I don't know. Or once again, perhaps it was done by multiple shooters and it was an organized shooting as we're being told as well by other people and other speculations. Now, what's perhaps most interesting and most convincing is this last video that I'm going to show you, which appears to have been shot from the concert grounds. And in this video, we clearly see the gunshots and we also hear them once again coming in from the very same location at a very, very low floor in this hotel. So check this out. This should This should So now that we have three videos which all essentially show gunshots being fired from a very very low floor in the hotel, we really really need to start questioning the mainstream narrative and questioning whether or not this was you know an organized shooting, whether it was done by a single shooter or multiple shooters. I'm sure that we'll learn a lot more about this event in the days to come, 
but please keep sharing these videos they are getting massively deleted off of youtube and of course keep questioning the mainstream narrative because it is the only way that will get to the bottom of things